This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I get polys to move outwards with the Zmodeler transpose action and radial symmetry? So this question was set along with an image, and here we have the image example here. And the user has a shape like this, and they would like to extend out each of these three areas on this mesh in the same fashion. So they're using the Zmodeler brush with that transpose action, and they're transposing it out like this. But as you can see, when they do this, all these areas are going in the same direction. And what they're looking for is to have each of these areas go out in their own direction. So how can you get that to work inside of ZBrush? So I'm just going to hop over to ZBrush here. And here I have a similar shape modeled out. So just a simple ring primitive here. And I've gone through and set this model up with two polygroups. So I have these outer edges as one polygroup, which should have three of those going along the borders. And then I have everything else as a secondary polygroup. So now this tool here works with radial symmetry. So if I come up to the transform palette up here and open this up, I can activate symmetry here. I'm gonna make sure my symmetry is set to Y and I have my radial symmetry set to three. So now as I hover over the model here, you're gonna see I'm getting three of these little pips that are circling around. So I just have three areas on this mesh that are now symmetrical. So now let's say I wanna take these areas here and I wanna extend them out. So I could use a Q mesh action inside the Z model brush. So I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard. I'm gonna hit Z to isolate by the letter Z and I'm gonna press M to select the Z modeler brush. Then I'm gonna hover over one of these polys and press spacebar to go to the Z modeler poly action menu. In here, I'm gonna make sure my action is set to Q mesh. I'm gonna change my target to polygroup all. And now I'm gonna come back to my model. If I just hover over one of these polygroups and click and drag, with that target set to polygroup all, it's going to apply that action to all those polygroups on the model. So as you can see, it applied that action here, here, and here. So this is one way you could go through and extrude the faces out. Now you will notice that when this process happened that it's going to do it based on the mesh normal. So you can see each one of these faces has now extruded out like this and I'm now getting this flare type effect. Well the image that the user sent along had it more of a just move effect or an extrude out but without this flaring. So to do that I can simply click Control Z to undo, go back to this version of the mesh here. I can now hover over one of the middle areas here, so this middle polygon here, press spacebar to go back into that Z modeler poly action menu. Instead of using the Q mesh action this time, I'm gonna switch to the transpose action here. I'm gonna change my target back to that poly group all. And now I'm gonna come across that poly again and simply click. And that is going to generate a transpose line directly from that poly group. And it's gonna generate out like this. Now I can come through and say hover over this middle circle. I can hold down control and then click and drag. This is gonna perform a extrude action. So it's gonna take any of the unmasked areas as long as your mesh does not have subdivisions and it's going to extrude them. So if I click and drag while holding control and drag that out, I'm now going to get this effect. So as you can see, this is very similar to what the user was showing in the image. So you can see I've got this one part extruded out but the other parts did not extrude out in the same way. So before you do this extrude action, you just wanna make sure that your symmetry is still active. So if I undo this and go back to this version here, and go back up to the transform palette here, I'm gonna just make sure my symmetry is active. So if your symmetry is active, wherever you have this transpose line drawn out, you should be getting new transpose lines in those other areas. So now if I come across this center circle here and hold control and drag out again, you see it's going to generate that extrude effect in that one area and then replicate it to those other areas. So if you're using this transpose action, you wanna make sure your symmetry is still on. So it's not going to transpose this area and then all the other ones as well. It's only gonna establish one transpose line when using the Z modeler transpose action. So if you want it to happen in a radial fashion like this, you must have that activate symmetry on and you must have your radial turned on before you perform that transpose action. So as long as you have radial symmetry on, after you use the Z modeler transpose action, it should now process that request in a symmetrical fashion. So now you can see now I'm getting this result on my model. So that process again is just to get back to the version of our mesh here. I'm gonna switch back to draw mode. I'm gonna hover over poly, press spacebar to open up the Z modeler poly action menu. Make sure I have transpose selected. Make sure my target is polygroup all. I'm gonna come across that poly and click. 
So this will now generate a transpose line from the surface you clicked on. It's going to mask everything that didn't have the same target. So polygroup all. So all those polygroups are now unmasked. And everything else that does not contain that polygroup is now masked. Now you just want to make sure your symmetry is active. So go to the transform panel up here, turn on activate symmetry. I make sure I have that Y symmetry on, radial symmetry, and my count is set to three. And now if I come across the middle circle of this transpose line here, hold down control and click and drag, I can now extrude those faces and I'm going to get this effect. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.